Ricky went off to basic training, then I went off to basic training, and I think that was the first time I really realized that my brother and I were actually closer than I thought. My name is Alicia Caracella and I am your veteran recruiter. Today we're going to talk about the time my brother and I joined the Army together at the same time and gave my mom a heart attack. I think I've been going to UNO for a little bit and I decided I don't know what I want to do with my life. So I decided to join the Army. Well, here comes my brother who also had been going to college and decided he didn't know what he wanted to do with his life either. So then he piggybacked off of me and he said, I'm gonna join the Army. So he went to my recruiter and he joined the Army. So now here we are, both of us who probably never really thought like we were actually gonna join the military and our mom probably was like, they're never gonna actually join the military, but they probably both need it. Ricky went off to basic training, then I went off to basic training, and I think that was the first time I really realized that my brother and I were actually closer than I thought. When I graduated from basic training and got through AIT, which is my school for um, being a truck driver, um, I went to airborne school. My brother also was in airborne school, so we spent three weeks together in airborne school. We would go watch movies, go eat ice cream, just do really weird, like wholesome activities that you just don't think that you're gonna do as an adult with your brother. <laughs> so then fast forward, my brother gets stationed in Fort Bragg and he's um, still airborne. He's in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and I went to Fort Carson, Colorado. We both come down on orders to deploy together at the same time. We're not gonna be stationed together, but reality really set in for my mom because I think she thought like, military life would give us structure and you know like I don't think she thought big picture of like oh they're gonna deploy deployment like it's a thing you never think you're gonna do first of all in life and then you know experiencing it with your brother at the same time like and I think he had a, a lot harder of a deployment than I did he was infantry um, I was in a field artillery unit as support so you know, I remember just like getting so many letters from him. We used to write each other letters and, you know, actually we wrote each other letters, let me backtrack, in basic training and in basic training, you're not allowed to write letters to other basic people in other basic trainings. So then they had to make an exception for us then. And we used to just write the funniest letters and it wasn't funny at the time, but I'm so glad I saved them all because it's just like the funniest, most random stuff. And so then and we did the same thing when we were deployed. My brother is no longer with us. He passed away in a motorcycle accident shortly after he came home from the military. But like what awesome memories to cherish with your brother. And you know, I know a lot of you travelers, you know, you've got siblings and friends and family members, and I'm sure you guys all have cool stories and fun stuff that you got to do with your siblings. And I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's some of the most cherished memories that I have with my brother. And I felt like that was really special. <laughs>